everybody and welcome to my let's play of Portal. This is the main menu where you get to choose your games on the orange box. You can play Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Episode 1, Half-Life 2 Episode 2, Portal, or Team Fortress 2. And yes, Valve does not know how to count to 3. Look, look at this, Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2, Episode 1, Half-Life 2, Episode 2, Portal, and Team Fortress 2. Now if you go to any one of these and just leave it, it'll be brought to at least part of the trailer of the game. Example, Portal. At the Enrichment Center, we believe that a highly motivated test subject can carry out rather complex tasks while enduring the most intense pain. So in case you don't make it through the testing, goodbye. This next test is impossible. Now you're thinking with portal. Let's get the on with it then. Center. Loading portal. And look at that, the little loading symbol is an orange box. That's clever. <laughs> Valve, I see what you did there. It's spin oh well it was spinning. But I mentioned it too late now, it's an orange tube. It should be it should be called the orange box and tube. And this is Portal, the start menu. New game, load game, developers commentary, achievements, controls, options, and quit. Those are pretty much the options for every orange box game. Well, I'm gonna start with new game. Go to my memory unit. Check in storage device. Brought all the way to chapter five for bonus levels. I'm probably not going to do the bonus levels because I've done most of them already and failed miserably. So I'm just going to start all the way back to chapter one and play through the entire game. Hi, Nico. It's the main theme song of Portal. Aww, cool. And a cup. Now a broken cup. And all the warnings we will we, we'll, we'll be, we will be getting Hello, later on. And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. Yes. We hope your brief oh. detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun, and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities. Serious injuries may occur. For your own what? safety and the safety of others, please refrain from and back. The what? portal will open in three. I, two. I I don't one. know Spanish. What did that mean? And portals have opened up allowing us to leave, and that lovely lady right there is me. Oh yeah. That's me right there. Before I leave, I actually like to demonstrate this real quickly. If you flush the toilet, this happens. Your business is appreciated. <laughs> All right, let's get on with it now, shall we? And I'm gonna take this, flush it down the fucking toilet. Nope. Oh, radio. All right. Your business is appreciated. And that right there to the now right, now forward, now left, now behind, is the relaxation vault that we were in. Camera? C c camera? What are you doing, camera? Camera? STAP! Alright. This is the first puzzle. Easiest puzzle in the game. I shouldn't take it back. It's the hardest one in the, in the game. Hello, Cube. I wonder where you're supposed to go. Excellent. Duh! Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. Okay. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. And that right there is the aperture science weighted storage cube. 
Goodbye, cube. It was fun. It, it was fun. It was nice knowing you. And oh, I'm being evaporated. Oh, oh okay. Um, before I actually um go on with the, the game, whenever you're in the elevator and you hit a loading screen, make sure you're not right up against the door. Otherwise, you'll be stuck on top of the elevator, and you will be glitched there, and you'll never be able to leave ever. Now on to this puzzle. Now, this game... Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. Super colliding super button. Now this game was actually, um... It was actually, um, made by a bunch of Digipin kids. If you don't know what Digipin is, um, Please move shut quickly up. to the chamber lock, as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. That voice will actually play a, a larger role later on. I'll get to that after I explain what Digipin is. Digipin is pretty much like, it's like a college kind of place where you get to make your own game. And you get to pretty much do whatever you want with it. Like, it's your own thing. And uh, a bunch of students made this game. And Valve played the shit out of it and loved it and bought it. You're doing very well. Please Thank you, voice. That a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in some cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. I thought what I was tasting was root beer. Okay, then. And this, that right there is part one of the portal gun. I'm just gonna be doing this. Just shooting blue portals everywhere. So, and no, the portals will not hurt you. I just got shot by a portal and nothing happened. Mine. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These interdimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. <laughs> Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... <laughs> I love the tongue and cheek humor in this game. Oh, hello, camera. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. I'm sorry, voice. Wait, that voice right there. That is the AI known as GLaDOS. The only voice you hear in this game, unless the main character, Chell, the silent protagonist, gets hurt. She... Whoa, Nico, what's up? Now, the, if the main character gets hurt, Chell will grunt. She's I mean, like... She's pretty much like Link. She doesn't say anything, but when she gets hurt, she makes Please noises. Proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. What if I just do this, though? Yeah, what now, GLaDOS? Ha <laughs> ha! Well done. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. But, I don't have a daughter. So... Oh, goodbye camera. We hardly knew ye. So pretty much what this is, you just go... You solve puzzles, and then you head to the exit the second you solve the puzzle. Because when you solve the puzzle, the... The way to the exit is clear. And oh, hello, loading screen. Welcome to test chamber four. You're Thank doing you, quite well. Now I will be showing shortcuts. The well, only the ones I know of. Once again, excellent so. work. Thank As you. part of a required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Okay. Now, before I actually go through there, there's a couple things I would like to um, tell you guys. To those of you who haven't played ever. These walls right here, these concrete-looking walls, you can put portals on them. And same with the floors. You can do that. However, I'm gonna jump there. These floors that look metallicish and sound metallicish, 
You cannot. Hello, hole. Same thing with these. You cannot do this with them. Another thing I'd like to note, it will be very important later, keep an eye on that portal. The second you walk through the thing, the portals disappear. These play important, uh, these play important plot holes later on, when you actually have to work your way around those. So let's get on the chest, the chest chamber. Test chamber five. As GLaDOS said, we will be alone. She will not watch us. Okay. You lie! Oh. For your own safety, do not destroy <laughs> vital testing apparatus. Now, this uh, test is actually pretty simple. Hello, box. Hello, box. Ah! do is get the box down there up here. The orange portal will stay stationary the entire time, so just do this, and voila. And the door opens. Yay! I'm gonna bring that camera with me just because I can. You're not a good person. You know that, right? Oh god, I As forgot about that glitch. Test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. A fabrication? As part what? of a required no. test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. I don't like being lied to, so... Yeah, anyway, um, that, um, when GLaDOS said you're not a good person, that's actually a voice thing from way later on in the game, like near the end. Um, if you want to hear that early on, bring a camera with you. She will say that. I completely forgot about that until just now. So anyway, let's get on with it, and I'm going to bring this with me again, because I can. I dropped it. And... Yeah! Bye bye. I like how the elevators have like padded walls as if it, like you're a mental patient in an insane asylum. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't know why, but I find that fun. Oh god, these things. I love these things. But I also hate them. Safety is one of many enrichment center goals. The aperture science high energy pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. <laughs> Alright, now if you've played any of the Half Life series, or if you've played this game before, you will. You know exactly what these are. These energy balls like to kill you. You touch them, like GLaDOS said, you'll be vaporized. You need to get those into these things. So what you need to do is, if you look closely, there's a small orange light up there. You need to shoot a blue portal there, so the energy ball goes through the orange one, out the blue one, and in the thing. Unbelievable. You. Subject name here. Must be the pride of. Subject on down here. Well, I don't mean to brag, but I kind of am. No, I'm not. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going, and hello again, elevator. I'm, I think I should be cutting the elevator parts out. But I, I, I actually don't think I will, because... I just don't want to. So let's move on to... What is it now? Chamber 7? Let's take a look-see. Warning devices are required Seven. on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high-energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. I wasn't even paying attention there. All I got was disabled for your safety. Um, anyway, the energy pellet will leave burn marks on the wall. So if you ever need to direct it anywhere, just burn marks. So we need to get this up there. I wonder how we're going to do that. Yay! Now use the <laughs> aperture science unstationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. 
And since there's only one spot to do this, we have to play a waiting game with the fucking thing. So let's just... Do... And wait. I like what they did with the portals. I made one of them blue and one of them orange. Which I, I like that because blue and orange are complementary. Like, it makes each of them pop out in a way. However, I don't like the way the, the gun looks when there's a orange portal light on. I'll tell you what that means when I get the orange portal. Until then, let's keep going. One thing I actually found disappointing is that there's no fun elevator music. So I might as well just um, supply my own. Damn it, I was about to... Please note that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. <laughs> In other words, the floor here will kill you. Now, this one's actually a bit more tricky. We have to bounce it around the room until it goes in there. It's not all that hard, but it can be evil. So let's just close attention and meh. Now that's going to be going continuously through there and not exploding because apparently the portals power it? I don't know, so if we... Oh! Oh, fuck. Uh, I refuse to accept that. So there's that. Oh, fuck. There we go. Okay. Now, eh. Wait. But I didn't... God... Explode. There we go, God. What? I... Scaffold? I needed to... You penis. Time to play the waiting game. Elevator music. I don't even know how elevator music sounds like. How is that? What it sounds like. Hello there, Chell. Dad ass. Um, I didn't say that. What are you talking about? Eh, eh, eh. Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to call it an episode here. We've been recording for 18 minutes. And. And. I don't know what else to say other than and. Let's just wait for the elevator to make its round. The enrichment well, actually, center no, oh, regrets oh. to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember if I don't, I don't know if you remember earlier, but if you bring this with you through here, this will evaporate. You can't shoot things here, so we gotta do this. The only reason I'm doing this is because I can. It's my let's play. Fuck you. The Enrichment Center apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. Haha. -ha. It would be impossible if not for that. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Yes, I did. Okay, now I'm going to call it an episode. I've been making noises now. So that was what? Nine? I think? So right after the elevator is done. I will go to the thing. And I will... I think that's it. So keep on keeping on, guys. I'll see you later.